Jonathan Lee Riches investigates. I am covering the Moscow, Idaho, Brian Kohlberger case. Let's talk about Brian Kohlberger's sister, Amanda Kohlberger, one of his two sisters. Is Amanda Kohlberger going to be a state witness in the Moscow, Idaho case? There's a lot of rumors and speculation about her. People are claiming that she witnessed Brian Kohlberger doing suspicious acts at Brian Kohlberger's parents' home in December after the Moscow, Idaho murders happened. Brian Kohlberger went back to Pennsylvania to his parents' home and people are saying and reports out there that a sister of Brian Kohlberger saw him do suspicious activities. And these are reports that were circulating around the internet. Brian Kohlberger's sister searched his car for evidence before police swooped in. Sources, but they don't name the sources, told NBC's Dateline that the accused killer's family searched his white Hyundai Elantra for possible evidence of the Idaho College murders. Was that sister, if this is true, Amanda Kohlberger? the sister that was living at the home? And if true, if it was Amanda Kohlberger, does the prosecutors plan to bring her in to testify? Or will Brian Kohlberger's defense bring Amanda Kohlberger in to testify on his client's behalf? Now, that was a Dateline report using anonymous sources. However, the internet is going wild with people speculating, did Amanda Kohlberger, Brian's sister, witness him doing the cover-up to a crime? And I don't know if that report is true or not, but people are talking about it. Number two, right? Another issue is the state intends to bring witnesses to the case and it's rumored out there that Brian Kohlberger's sister Amanda is not speaking to Brian Kohlberger anymore and it's quite possible she could be a state witness that is the reason why Brian Kohlberger's defense has said that um, they intend to uh, bring in witnesses to testify at Brian Kohlberger's trial so in this Response by Ann Taylor to the state's request for discovery. Number three, a list of the names and addresses of all witnesses the defendant intends to call at trial. Mr. Kohlberger investigation and preparation of his defense is underway. Trial witnesses will be disclosed as determinations are made. Mr. Kohlberger does intend to call individuals named in the state's supplied discovery materials. So he does intend to bring people, individuals, but who? And is any of Brian Kohlberger's family members listed on there? Let me know what you think. Could Amanda Kohlberger be one of them? The rumors out there that it could be true. Amanda Kohlberger could have. Now, who is Amanda Kohlberger? That is one of Brian's two sisters. Brian has another sister, Melissa Kohlberger. In fairness, Melissa Kohlberger If that Dateline report was true about Brian, uh, the sister seeing things outside Brian Kohlberger's home during that time, it could have been Melissa. But people are saying, hey, it's Amanda because Amanda lived there and um, Melissa was in New Jersey at the time because she's a mental health therapist or whatnot in, in Jersey. But who is Amanda Kohlberger? Well, she has locked a lot of her accounts down or social media accounts. She does have social media accounts. This is her TikTok. And you can see she put it on private. This is her Instagram. You can see that Amanda Kohlberger put it on private. This is her Twitter. You can see that Amanda Kohlberger put it on private. She also starred in a slasher film. Coincidentally, about, you know, the murder of college students and whatnot. We, a lot of you guys already know this, but this is for people that do not know. As authorities and investigators dug deeper into the suspect's background, they discovered that his sister, Amanda Koberger, had acted in a slasher film that has since gone viral due to its resemblance to the massacre. The film, titled Two Days Back, depicts 
the stabbings of several college students. Two thousand eleven slasher film. How ironic, right? They, you know, years later, her own brother uh, gets charged with slashing college students, right? Now she went to Pleasant Valley School District, Amanda, and she is class of two thousand six. So this is classmates.com. This is Brian Kohlberger's sister right here, Amanda Kohlberger, Pleasant Valley High School. 2006 class of 2006 here's some information about her according to her public bio amanda is from brooklyn new york amanda schools include pleasant valley school music amanda likes include amberlin the used and kesha books amanda likes include the twilight series movies amanda likes include two days back things i don't understand caveat TV shows Amanda likes include It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, True Blood, and The Walking Dead. One of Amanda's favorite quotes is, Live each day like it's your last. It's a simple quote, but it is true. And she actually has a yearbook picture I want to show you. What do you think about this? Check this yearbook picture out. But other than that, there's really no, not much information on uh, Amanda Kohlberger. If she's not a state witness, will Brian Kohlberger's defense call her as a witness, as a character witness? Brian Kohlberger, at one point in his defense, um, to trial is most likely going to bring in character witnesses for him, particularly in the pe penalty phase. If the prosecution seeks the DP, uh, you would expect Brian Kohlberger's siblings, mother and father included, coming in to talk of about the good things to try to save his life let me know what you think about all this subscribe to my channel like hit the notification button covering the moscow idaho case who is amanda kohlberger we will talk soon stay tuned